Hovering among the trees at peak foliage in this Massachusetts town is an unfamiliar object, a high-powered commercial drone. So what you're seeing here is our, our park system. And what the park is, is it's Persistence Aerial Reconnaissance and Communications Platform. These drones aren't moving much. In fact, if you look closely, you'll see that they're tethered to the ground. That's because they're designed for surveillance and communication. And the tether allows us to do a couple of things. It allows us to keep the bird in the air indefinitely. It's powering the system. It's also allowing us to move data up and down the tether. Lance Vandenbrook is CEO of Sci-Fi Works, which makes these drones, which can fly at 400 feet for up to 220 hours. Sci-Fi is partnering with state police, the U.S. Army, and big events such as concerts and marathons. The screen you're seeing here is actually coming off of that camera. Yeah, we can lock it in a car. This is our payload. This is a CM100 camera. It gives you 30 times optical zoom. The Danvers, Massachusetts-based Sci-Fi is the latest startup by Helen Grainer. From a technology point of view, we're rolling right along, we're flying right along. <laughs> Grainer is an MIT graduate and co-founder of iRobot, the company behind the Roomba and the PackBot used in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sci-Fi has raised $36 million to date from investors and strategic partners such as Motorola and UPS. The drone maker successfully flew its first delivery with UPS this year, medicine to a hard-to-reach island. I think uh, initially, going to inaccessible areas, emergency relief, rural areas, that's the right place to start. But no, I do envision drones bringing you your Starbucks coffee in the morning or bringing you uh, your pizza at, at night and maybe even bringing you uh, milk that you forgot at the store. The FAA cleared small commercial drones for takeoff last summer, but the promise of delivery drones has been limited by short battery lives, 45 minutes max. Tethered drones present a new set of challenges, but for sci-fi, it's a bigger picture play. The tethered drones, the persistent drones, they're making our drones really much more rugged, much more reliable. We get much more testing in, and that will lead to uh, much better, safer, more reliable delivery drones. Big players like Amazon, Alibaba, and other startups are competing in a global market for commercial applications of drone technology that's valued at $127 billion by PricewaterhouseCoopers. We do work with a number of government agencies, uh, public safety. We're starting to move into the private sector, so we're starting to see work with customers in the oil and gas space, telecoms, utilities. Sci-Fi currently employs 50 people and plans to double the size of the company in 2017. You know, it's an exciting time uh, for drones and the sky's the limit.